Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is a little bit different. It is a haul for what I purchased for my Cricut machine. Um, things that you can buy for your Cricut or your Silhouette. So if you have a cutting machine, these are some of the, the goodies that definitely would benefit you purchasing them at the Dollar Tree. Now I also have some craft items that are included in here, but mainly stuff that I do craft with and that I use with my Cricut machine. So hope you guys enjoyed this haul and let's get right into it. But okay, so the first thing I wanted to share with you is this little organizer with lid. So once you open it, what it looks like is this here. And I absolutely fell in love with this recently that I was reorganizing some things in my craft room and I tried this out and I was like, oh my goodness, this works so perfectly. So now I have the three. But basically, I use them for storing my embossing powders and if you have the Recollections brand of embossing powders, um, I have a few other ones upstairs. Actually, sorry, I apologize. I didn't put them all in here. I haven't finished organizing them because I just bought another lid recently, another container, but they fit really, really well in here and they stack really, really well. So um, what happens is they actually like, they clip in here so like they don't topple over. So once you have the three um, and it's open, then it will stack really nice. But anyways, this fits your embossing powders and for organization and you can see all the colors which I absolutely love so if you pull something out you're like oh what color do I need and you can pull it right out so it makes it really easy for accessing and also for storing so that was one thing that I just wanted to mention before I kind of dig into more of the Cricut stuff for the Cricut specifically these are some of the items I really wanted to let you guys know about which I think it just makes crafting so much easier so the first thing I love using is the tape measure set so I have one of these and it's flexible so it makes it super easy when you're trying to figure out a piece of paper that needs to go into your Cricut machine and then this here I don't really use um, but this sits in my, in my Cricut cradle and I absolutely love it and I thought you know what I don't see these all the time but they are found in usually at the checkouts you'll find them with like the pens and the novelty stuff so those will hang there and if you want this is so practical you just keep it inside the little container of your Cricut and when you need to measure something and figure out what what's going where this comes in real handy I typically use these all the time for making little like one piece accent decor they vinyl really nicely so you can there's I'm just showing you here two seven by nines, but there's eight by eights, uh, eight by tens, and even really large ones, which I think are 12, 12 by 14, if I'm not mistaken. However, the difference with that one is, uh, once you get to the larger, it's just a flat panel, like almost on a hard cardboard backing rather than a nice wood frame like this. And with these here, you can stain the wood, you can do a reverse canvas image, which I've shown some work that I've done on on the channel without the Cricut. You don't need to use the Cricut machine for this, but it would make your life a lot easier, especially if you're making stencils, which you can use this here to make wonderful stencils so that you can paint things or you can um, vinyl cut them. So for example, something like this that's got like a marble print, you can cut out little decals with it and then you can transfer that on even using this as a transfer tape. So this one here is the self uh, shelf and drawer liner and it's made by quick cover i love having this on hand all the time um, in my craft room especially for my Cricut. so there's that as well and then these ones here i just shared with you and then i also like purchasing surface vinyl so stuff like this it's a vinyl type vinyl top uh, very thin but you can stick this down to your mat and you can cut these as well because it's got texture, you can definitely play around with this and make some really cute things with your Cricut or Silhouette. Now I know the Maker is like a really much stronger cutter and it goes through wood and all sorts of stuff. So I wanted to share with you that they do have little planks of wood sometimes at the Dollar Tree and it will be a little bit thinner than this, but this is another great item to purchase. Stenciling on here, you can paint this stuff, you can um, use this you can, you don't have to use the Cricut, but again, you can cut out words with your Cricut. You can transfer things onto here um, and paint them out, or you can even cut this by hand, which I've shown I've done a few. I'll link them down in the description below. I've done mugs, I've done pillows, 
all sorts of stuff using this transfer or I guess like a shelf liner um, for a stencil purpose and it has worked really really wonderful so and I know it works on the Cricut as well it's just that on the channel I try to accommodate those who may not have a machine so just keep in mind that you can use that and I was going to say the Cricut maker may even be able to cut these types of planks of really really thin board it is like a wood compressed wood almost um, and I don't I'm not sure if anyone has the maker please let me know if you're able to cut through this I know that you guys are able to cut through fabric and leather and all sorts of stuff so I'm very curious to know if you can cut through this and if you can they have, do have thinner pieces of wood sometimes in the craft area so definitely peek there if you're looking to even if you're just testing out the Cricut Maker for the first time rather than going out and spending a ton of money at one of the craft stores then you can practice on this material here and you don't feel so bad if something goes wrong so that's another these are not another wonderful item for crafting as well as your Cricut or your silhouette I um I purchased this actually this was the second one I had purchased and I wanted to make another pillow so I just wanted to share with you guys that even um, though this is not really like a Cricut specific item, you can make really cute pillows, decorative pillows, and then use your Cricut to do vinyl, especially a heat transfer vinyl, and iron it onto here, or you can decoupage something with uh, Mod Podge and glitter. Again, I've done those on the channel as well, so I'll link those in the description below and a card up above in case you wanted to peek at what I'm referring to. But definitely keep in mind if you're at the Dollar Tree to look for things like this because you can repurpose them and make really cute stuff especially with your designs and your images probably one of my favorite purchases that I um, haven't been able to find as easily and as frequently as I used to is the poster board so they have this poster board in a five pack and this here has five metallics so it's got the this like beautiful gold color silver red sorry about that i just got a phone call and then i, I think it interrupted me so what where were we are so yeah so i purchased um ah, so i haven't seen this specific package in a little while except for a couple stores will have some random ones sometimes you'll find them hanging because they do have the little hanging hooks or they'll be sitting on in the craft area so there were there's these two packs that i did find and i purchased them and it has those five colors now they do have this one here as well Oh, so what I was going to say is this cuts so, so nicely and you can make beautiful little like sentiment words. I like writing hello or special or wonderful or beautiful and cutting them out with um, my Cricut machine and they turn out so nice and they peel right off my Cricut mat with such ease that like the words all stay intact and the cardboard doesn't fall apart, which sometimes if you use certain cardboards, like the top layer will peel away, but this one stays all nice and, and intact. I have... I have not tried this poster board yet. Uh, it has all the squiggly, so there's four only in this one here, and there's green, blue, orange, and red, and I haven't tested this one out. I'm not sure if anyone else has. Please let me know if it's good quality when you're cutting out uh, words or sentiments, like happy birthday or something cute for a card, because um, this is really pretty and I think would be fun for a little birthday card. I did purchase, oh, and poster board, and then just white poster board. And I, I purchase this occasionally, like I don't use it a lot, but sometimes if you want just a simple white sentiment, at least you have it and it's got five. Now you can buy probably one of the giant bristle boards and have the same effect, but one giant bristle board or a smaller pack to conveniently conveniently put away in your craft room um, is completely up to you. You can pre-cut the, you can cut the other ones as well, a uh, big board as well. I did pur purchase parchment paper. I have some crafting in mind to do with this. So I purchased it to um, try to work with it. I'm not sure if it's going to work the way I intend it to, but um, anyways, this paper is kind of like fun for, yeah, anyways, we'll see. I mean, it is fantastic if you're ironing something on, if you need to iron a decal or something like that in the in, with your iron, then you have that. I also bought tissue paper, and I like this one here. It's got like a silver, silver shimmer to it. Actually, this this shows a little bit better and then just like a, a gray tissue paper and I like decoupaging or using Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree actually I bought another bottle because it's not something I'm finding very often so there's just the 
water-based sealer glue and finish and it's Mod Podge and this one is gloss actually I like usually the yellow bottle that's matte I haven't seen Mod Podge in quite some time at the Dollar Tree but when I do find it I like buying it um, because you can't use coupons at least not in our area you can't use coupons they've turned Mod Podge into an everyday value at Michael's so I've lost that and so I just like purchasing it at Dollar Tree when I do find it however I have Mod Podge you know when you have like a cute little shoe box or a little box that comes in the mail with a package and you're like oh I can definitely repurpose that box but I don't like the look of it so I've what I've done is I just use tissue paper from the Dollar Tree whatever printer that inspires me I've just used some Mod Podge and I've glued some tissue paper that box transformed and it looks absolutely cute and goes perfect in your craft room or even in the house like if you have a random place that loose bits and pieces need to be stored you have access to doing that um, and transforming something simple and the gray is really popular right now so that would look really really cute in um, your home if you're kind of like in the modern colors so that has only five sheets of course you can also use it for gift gift wrapping uh, gift tissue paper so again this one was 59 mils I got a little bottle of Mod Podge along with that I actually purchased a bunch of little bottles and I might as well share all the little bottles that I have here okay so talking about little bottles I purchased some of this craft premium glue it's quick setting um, again not really related to Cricut but if you do need to use a good nice solid glue I think this one would work um, nicely as long and Aileen's tacky glue is also another great little item that you have in the craft room so I think it's pronounced Aileen's and this one's 88 mil and it's a lot less expensive than Michael's Another great item that I like having on hand is actually shoe shine kits on polish, liquid shoe polish, because if you don't want to go out to a hardware store and spend a ton of money on, I guess, like a wood stain, which you can easily spend $8.99 on a small thing that you only use once, you can mix the liquid shoe polish, you can use the wax shoe polish, and you can go to town and stain this whatever color you'd like. Now they also sell acrylic paints at our Dollar Tree, so I love using a mix of, of acrylic paints as well, even watering it down and then using it as a stain. But if you don't have access to acrylic paints, definitely go for your white, black, and brown um, shoe polish packages. Unfortunately, our store didn't have any of the minis right now. Um, otherwise I would have purchased one actually I have never seen the minis at any of my local Dollar Trees a very lovely viewer had sent me a package from the US and it was a white brown and black and I use it all the time to stain my wood however I did manage to find those at my local Dollar Tree so I thought I would buy some and, and um, play around with it because I can mix this brown with a little bit of white and gray uh, and black and kind of give it a little bit more depth with acrylics as well I like using this fix all adhesive glue this is not something that is always on the shelf however it does work really well if you're playing around with gems if you need to fix gems to glass to mirror you have this as well and then my brush and bond I love this because it comes with like a little bristled brush so if you need to choose it and you need to apply it to paper or to again glass or to a mirror it has that little brush and so it makes super easy to apply super glue because we know how much of a pain it can be when you have the little fine tip you squeeze out the super glue and it blubs out and this one here you have uh, so much more control uh, especially for your application of where you need to put it I also like purchasing all-purpose caulk I actually just uh, played around with another tube I made a bunch of little molds I actually use molds and I made little cute I don't know you'd say like little charms and stuff but yeah I, um, I thought this would be fun to have another one on hand and continue playing around with that stuff. If you've been following me on the channel, you will probably notice that I love craft items from the Dollar Tree. I just love being able to find things at a much better price than when I go to Michael's and find things. And I just don't like paying the full price that knowing that I, can, I have access to great items at the Dollar Tree. Like for example, here's a Westcott pair of scissors. Westcott makes a wonderful blade usually for cutting. I know it's only seven inches, and it's a straight cut it's not the largest scissors but these are going to come in such great hands they're titanium bonded blades and they're three times harder than steel so this something this is something you would pay a lot more money at michael's because of the brand name so i love ha scissors in my house i swear they fly away i think they grow wings they decide to run away on me i'm not sure but they, for some reason when i need a pair of scissors i might have 10 pairs when i need a pair of scissors they have all 
they all hide. So I know on my craft card I always have scissors, but anywhere else in the house, like they f they find a hiding spot. I don't know what happens. They just disappear on me. Here's another really great little tip. Oh, actually, this one here is not even from. You can buy these at the Dollar Tree. This one actually I purchased at Dollarama. Um, they're the same price, a dollar twenty-five for a set of two, and they are just a basic salt and pepper shaker. Actually, I like this shape a little bit better because I think the Dollar Tree ones here have like lines or something. So I'm just being picky, but um. I put my glitter in here so I open packets of little glitter I didn't haul any glitter because I have lots but um, at the Dollar Tree there's little packets of glitter usually there's six little packets so what I'll do is I'll put all of the same color packets or if I want to mix like a silver and a white together and to make it a little bit of a different shade I do mix glitters together I don't know if anyone else mixes glitters but I do have the habit of doing that to shake things up or make it a little different I love storing them in here because when I need to play with it, I just sprinkle it out. It keeps things so neat and tidy and I don't get uh, glitter all over my hands. So that's another little thing that I like purchasing. I, ah, going back to the Cricut, these here work so well in the little cartridge. So if you want to use your Cricut on the writing, like when it writes things out, you just place this marker. You don't have to use the Cricut markers because I know you can buy those as well. They're expensive. I think they're $20 for a little pack and I have a few of their markers, but now that I know this black one works, it's ultra fine pen. This is 0.5. It's made by Pro Marks from Dollar Tree. These fit right into the cartridge perfectly and they work really, really nice and they give you a beautiful printing job and they come out really nice and solid black with the print. Like it looks really great. So this is a fantastic, the fantastic buy. Oh my goodness, should I show all the things that I have? Okay, so let's just get through this really quick. Tumbling tower. I know I give you guys tips and suggestions on what I use things for. I hope I don't like bore you to death, but here's a tumbling tower game. These are just make for fun little wood projects if you like to do things like that. And then these ones here as well do the same thing. So if you're making like little uh, charms and you need to hook little like, I don't know, like little metal pieces to it. I mean, there are so many things you can do with this. So I purchased Another little great tool to have on hand is actually the eyeglass wear kit and the reason is because of the teeny tiny little heads. How many times have I run into yeah, I, it? requires batteries and it's actually the smallest little backing ever. So these little guys are perfect. Now they do come with all the little pieces if you do need to repair a pair of glasses, sunglasses, tighten your sunglasses, all sorts of stuff. But I actually use these as little tools in my craft room for when I need them on the back of something that needs to be open and you can't use a typical standard size screwdriver. Blue dots is another little craft item. This one here is the repositional, how do you call it? Removes easily, removable dots. So they come on and off, kind of like the credit card or like gift uh, gift card uh, adhesive stuff. I got some like little wood craft sticks just to make little embellishments I thought would be fun. I purchased another one of these because I had hauled this a while ago and I thought, oh my goodness, these are just super cute little wooden pots and I needed to actually use them for, I needed eight of them for the craft that I have in mind so I purchased some more but they had different sizes which is great for fairy gardens as well. And then I got two more of these as well because when I saw these at one store and then I saw them again at this store, I had to get them because this is a fantastic buy and I just thought even if I'm putting together when I do little giveaways, I thought this would be fun to put in a little giveaway if I don't open them for myself and don't really get around to them but they have like the little rocks and the little beads great little find and again I got another glue and residue eraser these here I'm not finding as often as I used to these work amazing and you'll pay five dollars easily at Michael's and I got the little finger protectors again just in case I do another giveaway I like to have these because I know a lot of you can't find them so this is something that definitely goes out in the little package this is sitting on doesn't matter what brand what type it is but the global beauty care i'm i usually have a pack in my car console and i always have a pack on my craft cart and that's when i'm doing my stamping or if i'm playing around with glitter or anything and i make a mess or paint i make a mess on my table one of these things will just wipe up that mess easily now i haven't used these ones specifically for my stamps yet but i any little packet and these ones here have um 30 wipes 
And the Gold Boo Beauty hair is nice and thick, so I like the way it wipes away. I got these little mini glass containers, looking forward to working with them and doing some fun crafts with them. Not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it. Does anyone have any suggestions or have you done anything with these little guys? But I couldn't pass them up because they are super cute. I got some pop dot tape. And this I love for making, if you are into scrapbooking, of course, but of pocket letters, I love making, or cards, I love making 3D type, I guess, embellishments. And so if I cut something with my Cricut or I make like a little shaker, this pop dot tape, dot tape is amazing. So instead of having to cut up foam, sheets of foam from the Dollar Tree or from Michaels, this is already sticky on both sides you just remove the adhesive stick it onto whatever you're doing stick on whatever you're what else you're doing and you have a beautiful pop dot tape now i don't know why they call it pop dot it should be like pop runner tape <laughs> because there's no dots on here and then i love this little craft decor multi-craft made this thing is smooth as butter i absolutely love it it's, I probably have never worked with a better chalk writer and I've paid big, big money for another chalk writer from Michaels. I think anywhere between five to seven dollars that I paid for it and it didn't work as nice as this. However, white is usually gone from Dollar Tree so if you see it, definitely purchase it. Highly recommend. If you want to see a tutorial on what I've used with it, I made like a cute little autumn sign on a chalkboard. This stuff didn't wipe away easily. It, there was no residue. Absolutely wonderful product. I cannot speak high enough about that highly about it um and i got this one as well in case i was doing some inking or brushing or multimedia effects this is a wet and wild brush so i thought it would last a lot longer than a typical dollar tree one now i've heard really great things on the dollar tree ones that they do last a long time in the craft room so please do not um hesitate to try them but i just went for this wet and wild one because it it was brand named and I thought maybe it would last longer. Here are a few other, this is something I wanted to share. So Forever in Time is a piercing and scoring tool set. So there's two of them in here. So there's the scoring and then there's the piercing. They have two edges that are different. Now I already have them in my craft room. I bought these as a spare set just in case I snap these off in case. I mean, they've been in my craft room for years and I haven't had any problems, but just wanted to share with you the two different tips. So there's a thicker pin tip. And then there's the, see how much I use it? Like it's even dirty. I'm constantly using this thing. And then um, there's a finer tip. Now, I couldn't find another one of these. I don't even have the cap. See, it's gone missing. However, this little guy is absolutely amazing for weeding vinyl. If you can find one of these little guys at your Dollar Tree, buy it especially if you're using Cricut and vinyl and you're weeding this is a lifesaver like absolutely amazing little pick much it's different than this because it has like a smaller I don't know how to explain it but trust me if you can get your hands on this little purple guy it comes in a little package like this I'm sorry I couldn't find it it just looks like this normally in a little package and it has a cap um, I would have purchased it to share with you what it looked like in the package, but I just wanted to let you guys know if you find it, buy it. This thing is amazing for weeding. And these little detailing scissors made by Forever and Time are fantastic as well. I currently use one in my room. I was just wondering, maybe I can give these away as a little giveaway. I don't think I really need to replace the little scissors unless I lost them and they go and hide somewhere, but I think I'm going to be okay for that. But this here, I really, really would love to find another one of these because if this little guy breaks off, I'm going to be so sad. So there's that. And then I got a little pack of laser cut wood um, shapes. I just, you know what? I think that the value is here for 52 pieces. At Michael's, I would pay a lot more and these are very modern and straight cut. I really like the look of them. Now that's not really Cricut related, but I just thought I'd share. This is the other thing that has made me so very sad. I know. Oh, so these are made by Multicraft. And if you have seen, I've shared with you guys how I organize a lot of my loose embellishments in my craft room. And that's in one of the little washi dividers from Michael's. I'll post a little video so you guys can see. And I haven't even bought another washi container from Michaels because I can't find any more of these. And then if I 
buy the washi container for Michaels, I'm kind of left with a useless system or setup because I don't have enough of these little guys. So these are mixed in store cups and they're made by the Color Factory. I don't know why I can't find them anywhere. But see, they have this little, um, and then the little screw top. And they're just like my favorite little organizational tool because they fit so nicely in that washi holder by Michaels. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my little craft chair slash cricket silhouette. Um, all sorts of goodies for your craft room and for your crafting needs. But until next time, everyone, take care and thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.